When your Excel formulas don't seem to go as planned, it can be frustrating. So in this activity video, we're going to look at some of the reasons why the gotchas and traps and maybe sort those out for you. Here we've got daily sales, sales including VAT and total sales. And the formula, if we look at the first one, is equal to B2 times 0.8 and that, that's your total sales minus the VAT. Let's come down and enter a new value, 25,000, press enter. Oh, there seems to be a problem. It's not giving me an answer now in C6, even though there's a formula in there. If we look at the formula bar, click in there, Oh, now I get one when I press enter. So it looks to me like the sheet isn't automatically recalculating. If we go to the formulas tab at the top and over at the far right, we've got calculation options. It looks like somebody's accidentally or at some point set this worksheet to manually calculate the formulas for you. That can be useful, but sometimes can be a pain. What I'm going to do is type another entry in here. Moving on to the where the answer should be, we can press calculate now or F9 and that will calculate for you. But it's probably best to go in options and set this to automatic. That means now when we type a value in, we'll automatically get the answer in column C. This second sheet has some slightly different problems here. We've got a formula that works fine. Let's try another entry here. Oh, I've entered the value but that stayed the same looking at 17600. Let's try one more. Oh, I've got no answer at all this time. Let's do a trace. If we move to the first answer and in formulas do trace precedence, that shows me where the calculation has come from to get that answer. And we'll try the second one and the third one. Ah. I can see a pattern forming here as a problem. It looks like it's getting the data cell from the previous calculation, the previous cell. Let's have a look at this one. Equals B5 times 0.8. Well, that's the day before, isn't it? So we wanted B6 there. So at some point, starting C3, the calculation went wrong. If we click show formulas at the top, that gives me a nice breakdown of the formulas on this worksheet, takes away the formatting and we can sort out any issues. Let's remove the arrows. So I can see B2 was fine for that first one, but then it stayed on B2. And it's just one out for the rest and some of these put zeros in here at some point so that won't work either. So first off I'm going to check it's on automatic for calculations which it is. That first formula is correct so if I double tap the spot that will generate a new set of calculations for me, the correct ones. Come out of show formulas and we should be able to carry on from that point forward and these figures look healthy, it's doing what it should be doing.